it gives you pointers and it can lead you to develop particular aspects of your curriculum in a different way. You can take into account the pupils' views very easily because you know what they think. Um, and yes, yeah, it's, it's just made our curriculum even more, I suppose, even more focused on health and wellbeing in a, in a bespoke way. Running the survey was really easy actually and the teachers fed back to us that they found it really simple to run. Um, it took less than 30 minutes um, and they just ran it in their normal lesson times. Um, we used ICT slots so every class went in their normal ICT slots and were really positive. It's already made a huge already. impact. When we, did, yeah. we did, when we kind of evaluate our action plan mm. today, the, the enormity yeah. of what in a short done space of time, based yeah. on, you know, and also with other schools in the cluster are using this, then we can yeah. work together with them, like we're doing with yeah. Summerton. If we did that across the whole cluster, that yeah. would be hugely yeah. beneficial. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, we've been involved with Happen now for some three years. Uh, originally we, we took part in the Happen survey, um, enabled us to receive data and um, which in, in turn informed our planning and, for, and our provision and um, things have worked really well. In our own experience, it's, it's not only are they very professional, it's an easy service to use it, and um, as I said in our own experience it's definitely contributed to our own um, development and our own e excellent testing um, judgments um, and obviously moving on forward to 2022 with the new curriculum on, 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 the, on the horizon it's, it's very um, appropriate at this time.